day 59. This was our campsite last night. Poison ivy everywhere. It was a good spot, really windy, but it's a beautiful morning. So let's get to it. And we're off. We got a little over 17 miles today. We've left a good hour before uh, we've normally been leaving. I'm trying to get into Waynesboro uh, at a decent time so that we can get all cleaned up, shower, laundry, get some real food, resupply. And we're gonna still, I think, try to figure out this uh, canoeing kayaking trip on the river. People say that it leaves out of Waynesboro. Uh, it seems like there's multiple in the area, if that's the case. So, we're gonna get into town, figure that out, and use that as a way to kill some time before trail days. Um, instead of hiking into the Shenandoahs and pulling out somewhere midway there or something. Although I could probably finish the Shenandoahs before trail days, but for an easy pickup spot for my mom and brother, I feel like Waynesboro is a good choice. So, and then once I get back, once we get back, um, we'll be just bumping up the miles again, catching back up, and be good to go. Nice little lookout window. Something going on over there. But we're making steady progress today. I don't know if it's been a mile yet, maybe. But I just got off the phone with uh, some of my Alabama friends, Kevin and Renee. Uh, they are out on the Benton Mackay right now. And they were telling me a story about how two nights ago, uh, <laughs> big storm came through and flooded their tent, my old tent. Um, <laughs> they're dry now. But they're, uh, they took a, a day off to dry out and heading back right now. I just got off the phone with them and their shuttle's picking them up. So, best of luck to them. I doubt they're watching any of these videos while they're out hiking, but they'll get back to, I'm sure, keeping updated with my stuff and see this. So, Kevin and Renee, miss you all and when we're done with this trail, I'm gonna stop in and visit you. All right, carrying on. I don't know how this tree is holding on. A little bit of dirt, but this is uh, all rocks. Anyway, here's a view. Somewhat. It's probably part of Waynesboro, which we're heading to today. Got a couple miles done already. And uh, we're making good time. We're both feeling good. A little bit of a soreness on her end, but that, ooh, that'll probably work itself out. Good. Still the same spot, but Whew. 
there was a sign back there that said uh, camping and campfires prohibited for the next mile and we're in there and I could see why because this would probably be a popular spot. rock wall just goes on for a while now some people from the past did a lot of work putting that together but it just goes and goes and goes and on an uphill slant too so good on them for putting the work in very cool. top of Humpback Mountain. Uh, nothing to see here, but it's done for the day. And uh, I believe, I don't want to jinx it, but this was the last big climb of the day. Really the only big climb. The rest of it's just up and down, up and down, up and down. But Humpback Mountain, is summited. Cheers, tree. small rocks so that was quite the task to put these together Today we came across a lost dog on trail. It was a Australian Shepherd, <clears throat> and he was kind of coming with us for a short stretch, very short. Um, and he looked taken care of, had a collar, tried reading the collar, but he wasn't interested in letting us see that. So we kept trying to make him follow us, and then there was a runner coming the other way we told her and uh, we kept walking I left a comment in the far out at the water source that we were at when we saw him and uh, less than a mile later uh, this lady coming up the hill calling for him so at least the owner was out here looking and it wasn't the dog was not here for days or anything so we told her where we saw him and she kept going so hopefully she gets them and brings them back but we were uh, not wanting to leave them there but have to keep moving but we didn't have anything a leash or anything to tie him up and bring him with us but then we didn't know where he came from was it the way we were going where we came from we hadn't passed anybody looking for a dog until the owner it was only like six or seven tenths from where we saw him so should probably get him but he was interested in following us but then as we got farther from where we saw him he just turned around and ran back up there so we're just gonna believe that she found him and he's safe anyway so 
Uh, we're still making our way. I think we're over halfway. And we've got word that there's hot dog and popcorn stand at the road where we come out while we wait for our shuttle. So that's good news. We went and checked that out. It's pretty neat. One of the stones had some etchings in it, but uh, there's a few people's remains of some sort buried up here. And as you see, we are continuing on. Neat. Yeah. 